You know, on this channel, we often discuss the big major racism problem in the United States of America. And of course, the giant racism problem that we have in this great nation and in the entire Western world is a supply and demand problem. The demand for racism far exceeds the supply of racism, and this causes race hustlers and race grifters to reach for ever more pathetic examples of that evil white racism in order to present it to the public, in order to sell you on the idea that America is evil, irredeemable, and definitely, definitely white people are the problem. Now, a perfect example of this is this writer called Karen J. Phillips out of Deadspin, who put out an article, which by the way, actually is amongst a pattern of articles, which we will get into a little bit later, on an alleged five-year-old boy supposedly wearing blackface at the Kansas City Chiefs game. Now, he put this still as the image that he wanted to talk about, and of course, almost immediately, anybody with half a brain realized that this is face paint, very common to wear to NFL football games, and once we saw the full photo, he wasn't even wearing all black face paint. Half of his face was red, which makes sense because this would be the Kansas the city chief's colors. Now, a normal person with an IQ above room temperature would have looked at this initial photo, realized that it is at a football game, realized that it was at the Kansas City Chiefs game, and understood immediately that nothing racist was going on at all whatsoever, and you didn't even need the secondary photo in order to exonerate this kid. The idea that a kid who is a fan of the Kansas City Chiefs, who is dressed in a Chiefs jersey, has the whole headdress, would go to the game in blackface in order to mock black people, which, by the way, the quarterback of the Chiefs is famously half black. He is often regarded as the next generation of quarterbacks in the NFL is absurd in every possible way. But if you're Karen J. Phillips, you looked at this photo and you thought, ah! Now, of course, when this was pointed out to this Deadspin writer, he did not retract. He did not do the honorable thing because there's absolutely no honor in this man at all whatsoever. He doubled down and doubled down. And then when he discovered that the child at the center of this was actually five years old, the child that he was directing a racist hate campaign against, he then took down the tweets, but he still continues to double down on his Twitter account because he is the greatest victim. He is somebody who works as a writer at Deadspin, a so-called journalist who doesn't do basic rudimentary fact-checking, is at no risk of losing his job for not being qualified to handle his job, and the five-year-old is the oppressor. The five-year-old is the evil white racist. The five-year-old enjoying a football game is the problem in society, not this guy who decided to go after him for no other reason except for the fact that he's either stupid, malicious, or believes he He's the main character. Now, look, I'm going to get into this a little bit further, but I just want to say thank you to everybody who signed up over an actual justicewarrior.com slash join. Oh, give me the money. Give you give me the money. OK, and thank you to the podcast listeners, Spotify, Apple and Google's podcasting platform. So like I said, Karen J. Phillips wrote this stupid article with this headline and this deceptive photo, and he got community noted to hell and ratio to hell based on it. The headline read as follows. The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface comma Native American headdress and the subheadline is they're doubling down on the racism are you going to say anything Roger Goodell now obviously as discussed this is total nonsense this is ridiculous this is absurd this is Karen J Phillips having a problem because he is looking for racism under every rock because he's a one-trick pony he has no talent at all whatsoever and when he doesn't find it when he can't be the victim he manufactures it and by the way, it was pointed out to him very quickly that he was lying. It was pointed out to him very quickly that the other side of this kid's face was actually red, that this kid actually was just a Kansas City Chiefs fan. You know, something that needed to be explained to Karen J. Phillips because, you know, being at a Kansas City Chiefs game and wearing the colors of the Kansas City Chiefs 
wasn't enough for this utter buffoon, but he doubled down on this, and we gotta go into his double down, because it just goes to show him how stupid he actually is. And this is his tweet, now deleted because he's a coward. For the idiots in my mentions who are treating this as some harmless act because the other side of his face was painted red, I can make the argument that it makes it even worse. Y'all are the ones who hate Mexicans, but wear sombreros on Cinco. So we're going to work backwards on this tweet because I could basically put it in a museum and give you a tour of that museum and spend about 35 minutes on this alone. But we got to start with the idea that this is a so-called writer who is too lazy to write out Cinco de Mayo. He couldn't even figure out what month May 5th actually takes place in, and that just goes to show you how low level this person's analysis is and what he's saying just makes no sense at all on top of that Cinco de Mayo isn't actually Mexican Independence Day it is actually a separate holiday that is celebrated more in the United States of America than it is in actual Mexico proper so he's not even on base when it comes to that but whatever, that's not even the point. We got to take it a little bit further because now he's trying to make the argument that the red makes it worse because he's making a link to Native Americans based on the red face paint, claiming that this kid, for no reason at all whatsoever, had nothing to do with the Kansas City Chiefs colors being those colors, had nothing to do with the fact that he was at a Kansas City Chiefs game, decided to go and mock black people and Native Americans at the same time with each side of his face because that's how efficient the evil white racists are with their evil white racism. This is actually a thought that a so-called writer, an adult human being that is allegedly sentient, put out into the world as an explanation when he got called out for wrongly, and by the way, he had no reason to ever assume that this kid was actually wearing blackface, labeling a kid as wearing blackface to a Kansas City Chiefs game. This is the argument that this guy put forward. He's so pathetic in his search in his quest for evil white racism that even when he could have just taken it back said he didn't see the other photo he made a mistake back away without anybody really noticing and just move out of the area and just not talk about it he decided that he was going to say oh it's actually worse because native americans and also you guys hate mexicans you evil white racist with your evil white racism absolutely pathetic in every possible way but to make matters worse, as I said, it is currently being reported that the young man at the center of this is just five years old. This guy decided to go after a five-year-old for being a fan of the Kansas City Chiefs because he perceived this five-year-old to be white and he wanted to manufacture racism right after the holidays because that's all he can do. He's a one-trick pony and he got busted for it. And to make matters worse, apparently... This kid isn't even all the way white. Apparently, this kid is actually part Native American. From the post millennial, so I don't know if this is 100% confirmed, but the young Kansas City Chiefs fan, Deadspin tried to cancel over false blackface and racism accusations, is Native American. And in this article, we find some choice quotes from the Deadspin piece, which are as follows, which are the best setup for what's going on. So I'd like to read that for you. Quote from the Deadspin article, it takes a lot to disrespect two groups of people at once, but on Sunday afternoon in Las Vegas, a Kansas City Chiefs fan found a way to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time, end quote. Now the mother, Shannon Armada, actually shared this article and said, this has nothing to do with the NFL. Also, CBS showed him multiple times, and this is the photo people chose to create division. He is Native American. Just stop already. Now, apparently, the kid who is from California belongs to a tribe called the Chumash tribe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and I apologize for that. And his father is actually on the board of that tribe in Santa Yaniz. Now, of course, the reason I'm revealing this information is not because the kid being part Native American changes anything about my commentary. It would have been fine if a white kid would have done this because, again, he is just expressing a fandom of the Kansas City Chiefs, but because it allows me to play this clip in the Deadspin reporter's face. Oh, so you said that it was a white guy. What happened? Now, of course, the story only gets worse because Canon J. Phillips can't take the L. 
he will not admit that he is a racist scumbag who targeted a five-year-old based on the color of his skin so that he could score woke virtue points so that he could play the victim so that he could be offended on behalf of Native Americans when the alleged evil white racist five-year-old turned out to be Native American himself. But it turns out people have started to look into his past articles and it wouldn't surprise you to find out that all he does apparently is manufacture racism hoaxes. Get a load of this article that this utter scumbag wrote post the Buffalo shooting that happened up here in New York because I don't know if you guys are aware of this. After that shooting, white people made the grave mistake, the grave act of evil white racism when they decided to attend a Buffalo Bills game. Wow, aren't those white people racist? Headline, white fans were entertained by black athletes a day after a racist killed black people in Buffalo. This is what white supremacy looks like. The subheadline says you can be sure that Jason Tatum and Chris Paul have a lot more than game seven wins and losses on their mind after this weekend. So yeah, there was a horrible mass shooting, if you guys remember, in Buffalo, New York. It was motivated by racism. Black people were the target. It was absolutely horrific in every possible way. Yet people went to the Buffalo Bills game the very next day, and apparently only the white people who attended that game are in fact notable, even though they bought the tickets in advance, and there was no call in this article for Buffalo to suspend the game or anything like that, and of course, the game had ceremonies and things to honor the victims of that event, because it happened right in the backyard of the Buffalo Bills, but apparently, the issue is that white people existed once again, they attended a sporting event, and they didn't get on their knees and grovel, and they dared to watch black athletes play football a day after this event. That is the major problem that Karen J. Phillips has found, and he says that this is representative of white supremacy. Again, you can see the desperate, pathetic search for evil white racism is on this guy's mind 24-7 because he has no life. He has nothing to actually engage with. He does not face challenges other than his own intellectual limitations, so he has to invent racism out in the world, project it onto white people, when all he's really angry about is that white people actually exist and they live in the world and by the way there's also a tweet accompanying that article which says all the way back in 2020 black athletes had their humanity prioritized that's over and then he tweets out the headline that i just read to you which is his latest from deadspin so yeah karen j phillips unironically a guy named karen absolutely a race hustler absolutely a race hoaxer an absolute scumbag in every possible way and by the way Everybody can see this. Even Brianna Joy Gray, who hosts The Hill Rising with that Robbie Suave guy, who always backs the race hoax 100% of the time, couldn't even back this individual. That's how pathetic and humiliating this has been for him. To the extent that people are mad or focusing on this little boy, I agree that that's wrong. And it's clear that he's not doing blackface in a traditional way of what blackface means. He is an absolute monster. He targeted this kid. He directed harassment at this child, and he did it for his own personal profit, for his own personal gain, and to sow discord in the United States of America because he has nothing better to do with his time. It's absolutely horrific, and to be clear, in no way, shape, or form should anybody try to backdoor validate his points by calling him any racist names. Typically, when we see posts like this, let's just be honest, it's usually from some blue-haired, 40-year-old single white person with 8 million piercings in her face because the actual issue is this anti-white race-baiting ideology, not the color of Karen J. Phillips' skin. In fact, I have a dream that one day we will not judge little boys and little girls by the color of their face paint, and instead we will judge them by the content of the character of the relationship with the pop star that their tight end actually got in. Look, I'm sorry, but it needed to be said, and thank you all, everyone out there, for supporting that dream and moving forward into that vision of this great future for this great nation. Now, look, unfortunately, this isn't where it ends. Unfortunately, this story does have broader implications. In fact, in the very same month, a California middle schooler was suspended for wearing the eye black that you wear when you're playing sports to get the sun off your face. 
race because, you know, we can't ever have white people enjoying anything in the United States of America, let alone sports. So there are broader implications to these false accusations of blackface. But that's where I'm going to leave this story right here. And I want to know what you guys think. If you like the video, then show me by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on the social media, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about this complete and utter nonsense from Deadspin. Till next time.